Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, this is the video I said I would get made to accompany the battery relocation video. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how I made my battery cables. It's pretty simple. Um, I purchased uh, some welding cable, the lugs, and just kind of soldered everything together on the workbench. So, I'll go ahead and show you who I bought my cable from, as well as all the pieces that you're going to need to do this. All right, so here's the company I've been using for the last couple years. I'm pretty happy with everything I've gotten from them. It's uh, acdcwireandsupply.com. Now, I went with their welding cable. They do sell battery relocation kits and also battery cable. I just like the quality of the welding cable better. Uh, for 15 feet, uh, it's about $38. And um, so to get both the 15 feet of the ground and the lead was about 80 bucks. They do also sell on eBay if you want to check them out there, but I really like their website. It's very easy to navigate and I can get the exact uh, amount that I want. Now I went with the 1 over 0 AUG uh, for the actual battery cables and then a 4 AUG for the cables running to the fuse box and also to the alternator. And you can kind of just pick out whatever color combination you want. I went with uh, blue and black. Okay, next up you're going to need to purchase some copper lugs uh, with the right size stud and also for the right size cable. Uh, so 1 over 0 AUG and then whatever stud you're connecting it to. These are for things for like connecting to the alternator or to the chassis of the car for your ground or starter. Alright, next up you're going to need some top post connectors. Um, I actually use this type because you just get such a good connection with it. There's no worry of failure in the future. Uh, these ones here actually even include the solder lug, uh, the ones I bought didn't, and a pretty good deal at just 12 bucks. Okay, and now here we are. I'm going to just kind of show you how to put these together. So I don't have uh, any top post connectors to show, but it's the exact same process with these uh, lugs that I'm going to be doing. So this would be like a connection for a ground point or to your starter or alternator. Okay, and here I have a piece of 1 over 0 AUG cable. This is not the cable that I bought from ACDC Wire and Supply. I actually picked this up at a uh, tractor supply place. I ran a little short for running to the circuit breaker from the battery. Now you want to trim just enough casing off so that you have as little exposed wire as possible without the plastic actually going down into the lug. So I don't actually have any solder lugs right now. I'm just going to use some regular solder. So I'll just wind that up into a ball and place that into the lug. Take a screwdriver or something and pack it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and wind up another one until it's completely full. Alright, next what I'm going to do is take a piece of heat shrink. This is actually a um, marine heat shrink that I use. It's got some uh, glue on it on the inside. Kind of seals everything up real nice. So next you're going to get your propane torch. Get that fired up. Uh, you'll want to have the cable ready in your hand. Make sure the heat shrink is back up far enough on the cable that the heat of placing it in there doesn't actually melt it in place. Alright, now once you see the solder melt all the way down in, you're going to go ahead and place the cable in, push it all the way down, and remove the torch. And it should cool fairly quickly within just a few seconds, and then you can let go of the cable and turn your torch off. Now just let it cool for about a minute. After that, we're ready to go ahead and push our heat shrink down over it. You can tell this is kind of a tight fit, but that's definitely what we want. Once I've worked it all the way down on there, we'll go ahead and take the torch and without melting the heat shrink, we'll just heat it up. We're not trying to actually put the torch right on it and burn it. We're just kind of heating it up. And here is the finished result. These will last for a very long time. You've got the best connection uh, and a lot less problems with any corrosion. All right, that does it for this video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below and I will get back to you. I really appreciate the support. Take care. Be safe.